So this clip recently of Saikuno is blowing up. For those of you who don't know who Saikuno is, he's one of the OTV members. Blew up during the Among Us era in 2020. Probably remember some of my old videos I made of him with the modded skins. <laughs> Good times. But he's YouTube's most beloved wholesome streamer, who always manages to keep an all-around great vibe on stream, never any drama or issues. He's always just gaming and a very humble guy. I for one think he's the embodiment of what every streamer should be, because nowadays everyone's just so damn problematic. Always trying to get wrapped up in drama because they know it's the meta right now, and growing fast on any platform. So they're always backstabbing each other and lying left and right, especially on Twitch. It's the very reason a lot of members in his group have decided to remain separated from all of that and stream exclusively on YouTube. I mean, practically all the OTV members only go live on this platform now, even though they all started their career on Twitch. Twitch was the place to be back then, but now it's sort of all over the place. Like I've been streaming on there since 2014 and so much has changed. It used to be all about speed runs and gaming. Now some of the most viewed channels are just channels that don't even play games. Just have live shows, talk about drama IRL stuff which isn't bad I mean it's expanding Twitch's catalog and overall growing the platform but that's sort of the kind of stuff that's killing it as well because it's becoming so damn problematic at times too but that's why a lot of people don't stream on Twitch anymore like Saikuno now they just do their own thing on YouTube and cater to the community with a bunch of live streams with Verity games not really sticking to just like Fortnite or Among Us like back then they do it all but Saikuno who moved to YouTube never gets into problems ever him and his community just do their own thing including the OTV team and they just try to have a good time spread some good vibes and that's it and i mean everybody loves this guy i don't know a single person that hates him but now for some reason he's getting a bunch of hate right now like crazy because when someone brought up the topic of gifted subs in chat he told his viewers that they don't have to sub to him instead maybe just buy yourself a nice lunch or put that money towards something better that he doesn't really need it and you just being present in the stream means the world to him check this out you don't have to sub or anything just showing up to the stream is all i want uh i do appreciate it it's super nice of you guys but I'd rather have you just buy yourself a nice lunch, and I promise you, I'll be happier with that. Now, immediately, what people took away from this clip is the man is just lying. He's using reverse psychology to say he doesn't want you to sub, but he actually does, and this is a tactic practically every big streamer does. Because in their description of their channels, they let everyone know that they don't have to sub, it's optional. Then others were saying, oh my god, he's a millionaire that isn't begging for gifted subs, what a surprise. And he's really being slammed for this clip that's blowing up. And honestly, I'm just sick of bumping into it everywhere, and I thought I'd just speak on it because my god it's just so annoying what people are saying about this video like geez he'd even say anything bad the man is probably stacked all around on sponsorships like i'm pretty sure he recently had one for the new dmd movie and hearthstone or am i confusing it with another creator and then not to mention the youtube pay that he got for switching over to their platform Saikuno's doing pretty well for himself probably just let a fan who says something like oh sorry i can't give subs like i normally do this stream i'm broke and then he just let him know that it's all right you don't gotta sub you just watching the stream helps him out a lot and honestly even me as a small streamer is the most basic thing to say is i don't understand where they're mad at him about it every streamer says this when a viewer says that they want to sub to them if they could it's just a good gesture to let them know that's all right and it really shows your hospitality and how humble you are and the fact that he did this with how successful he is as a content creator was a big move so i don't really get why people are slamming him for this clip literally just hating on how well he's doing for himself and mad that people are even considering to support him still some people were just like oh you can't even afford a lunch for five dollars like bro he was probably just in the middle of a game and just said something off his head give the man a break it really sucks how people can just clip a random part of a stream and it can be completely taken out of context and make the man look bad some scary stuff man i mean people are acting like he said something malicious he just said don't donate if you don't wanna and then they're all like he's putting the good guy act and that's it but we all know Saikono wouldn't just say that come on this guy's too nice just to backstab his audience like that he's been like that for like decades plus every streamer has that in the description of their dono button because it's just a disclaimer letting everyone know that they're not obligated to give the broadcast to their money it's the least they can do if they're considering to do so like even i do it everyone does it because i just want to let everybody know that they don't have to just watching means the world to me and i'm pretty sure he did the exact same thing and he's a far larger creator so imagine i'm a nobody <laughs> the only difference is he's getting hate for what he said and calling him an anti-streamer and they're just bending the entire thing backwards and it's weird because he's never wrapped up in beef i think they're just trying to find dirt on him and the most pathetic excuse to start a hate mob against Saikuna for something he said that was intended to be taken nicely seriously what's wrong with people sick of seeing this clip with the caption anti-streamer keep seeing it on tiktok and twitter it's annoying and yeah just want to talk on this so let me know your thoughts in the comments below subscribe leave a like and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out stay blue